Here's your daily update. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi and thanks again everybody. How about a lesson today in what you might call saying it doesn't make it. In other words, you can call something anything you want, but unless it lives up to that reputation, it's just a hollow claim. When I first moved here to Long Beach, I went to a McDonald's the first day I was here. What a surprise! Yes, Bob, I know. You ever eat anywhere else? I know I always go to McDonald's. But the point of it was, this was a very special McDonald's. On the outside, there was a sign that said, this is a family restaurant, no horse horseplay, no putting your feet on the, the tables, no profanity, no loud noise. And inside, on the Muzak system, they were playing classical music. Hmm. I found out that the fellow who owns that McDonald's owns about six others and prides himself on the clean family way they're run. Okay, move to earlier today. My roommate and I went to that same McDonald's. Immediately upon entering, we encountered a very large woman sitting by the door asking for money. Incessantly asking for money. This got to be so worrisome, my roommate, and we were sitting toward the back, picked up his cell phone, looked at the number on the receipt, and called the manager from inside the restaurant, alerting her to the fact that this woman was panhandling. Nothing happened. The woman got louder. Then she saw a young grade school boy buying something and got money from him. Well, my roommate called again, and this time the woman noticed he was making the call when the phone rang. She then began to badger him and enlisted the aid of other people in the restaurant. This elderly woman with a cane stood up and said, I'll beat up on him. My roommate called again, telling the manager he was being harassed. Nothing happened. Finally, on the way out, the panhandling woman became very belligerent, and as my roommate left the McDonald's, spat on him and threw her soft drink all over him. From the car he called the manager again who informed him she had called the police, albeit a little bit late. I bring this up because I don't know whether the manager is ever there or not, or the owner I guess I should say, but whoever put up that sign in front about it being a wonderful place to eat ought to take it down or eat there himself. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.